Magandang gabi po, Trixie Angeles, para sa Luminous by Trixie Cruz Angeles and Ahmed Paglinawan. Sa atkot, hindi ako magla-live this week, kaya lang marami pong ganap. So, today po, nag-issue ng warrant of arrest ng Branch 115 ng Regional Trial Court of Makati uh, para kay Senator Antonio Trillanes in connection with the Manila Peninsula incident of 2007. Uh, ano year yun? 2007. Okay? Uh, during that time, kung matatandaan po ninyo, si Senator Trillanes and several others were undergoing trial for the Okud Mutiny in Branch 148 of the Makati Regional Trial Court ay nag-walk out po sa kanilang hearing ay nag-walk out po sa kanilang hearing at tumuloy sa Manila Peninsula where they they uh, they took over the hotel. Naglakad muna sila sa Makati and then they took over the the hotel and made some demands on the Arroyo government. Ay bakit mahalaga po ito? Well, uh Maraming po kasi nagtatanong, anong mangyayari? Pwede na ba po siyang arrestuhin in relation to his court martial? Kasi obviously, nag-file na po siya ng bail. Nag-file siya ng bail because he has already been, in fact, arrested. Okay, ulitin ko yan, ha? Cannot file bail kung wala kang certificate of detention. Ang certificate of detention po, ini-issue yan kapag na-arresto ka na. Now, there are two ways of, make, of uh, being arrested. Isa ay, intayin mo yung uh, polis ay dumating sa inyo at daling ka sa kulungan or ikaw mismo ay sumurender at uh, mag-submit po dun sa booking procedures tsaka det arrest and detention ng Philippine National Police or any law enforcement agency. So, he could have gone to the NBI. Uh, pakisabi po kung malinaw po yung audio ha, kasi mag adjust tayo, medyo maingay yung lugar ko. Okay. Uh, ngayon, na, maraming nagtatanong, paano na yung court martial? Bakit hindi po siya ina for the court martial? Well, in the first place, hindi ka ina for court martial. nag issue lang po ng order ang chief of staff or pwede siya mag-delegate to another officer na mag-issue ng order for his detention. Bakit mahal? Uh, pero at this time, hindi pa po siya pwede mag-undergo ng court martial. Kasi nang unang-una nangangako ang uh, Armed Forces of the Philippines nangako ang Armed Forces of the Philippines na hindi siya i-detain nang hindi pa nag-i-issue ang warrant of arrest. Ngayon, nag-i-issue ang warrant of arrest ng uh, Branch 150 pero significant ba ito sa court martial? Ang sagot dyan, hindi po. Kasi, isa lang po ang court martial ni Senator Sani Trillanes. Uh, Special General Court Martial No. 1 was handling the Oakwood Mutiny. Tatlo po kasi ang Special General Courts Martial at the time. SGCM 1, which is the Oakwood Mutiny. SGCM 2, which was the fourth Fort Bonifacio standoff incident, kung naaalala ninyo, yung mga Marines sa Fort Bonifacio ay nag-declare ano, nag, uh, against uh, President Arroyo at sabi, kailangan, ang gusto lang nila ay malinis na halalan. Ang Special General Court Martial No. 3 was for the Manila Pen incident. Ngayon, walang Special General Court Martial No. 3 si Senator Trillanes because at the time that he went to Manila Pen, senador na po siya. In other words, civilian na siya at the time that the crime was committed. At the time that, so, hindi siya po na pasa ilalim sa Special General Court Martial No. 3. Therefore, ang may jurisdiction lang kay uh, Senator Chilianes is SGCM 1 pertaining to the Okud incident. Ang Okud incident po ay, pin, ay nililitis ng uh, Makati Regional Trial Court Branch No. 148. Okay? So, uh, sa ngayon, even if um, nag-issue ng warrant of arrest ng Branch 150, hindi pa po, po siya pwedeng i-court martial kasi hindi naman po yung, yung uh, related. Wala pong court martial si Senator Trillanes for the Manila Peninsula incident. Intayin natin ngayon, uh, in accordance din sa pangako ng AFP na hindi siya i-detain without a warrant, intayin nga, natin ngayon yung relevant na warrant which is under Branch 148. Okay? So, medyo maliwanag yun. May mga nagtatanong, bakit po siya nakapag-bail? Well, rebellion, which is uh, what kung ano yung nililitis sa Branch 150, ay bailable offense po. So, ayun, nakapag-file na po siya, if I'm not mistaken, ng bail, uh, placed at 200,000 pesos. Ang hindi po bailable is the coup d'etat charge doon sa Branch 148. Kapag lumabas po yung warrant sa kanyang coup d'etat charge, maaari na rin po mag-issue ng order ang AFP para uh, mag-acquire uli, para i-reconvene ang Special General Court Martial No. 1 at ilitis uli siya for the crimes, for the mutiny committed during the time that he was Lieutenant Senior Grade in 2003 sa, Manila, sa Oakwood Hotel. Uh, so sabi ni Michael Santiago, sorry, medyo maingay ah, uh, yung Branch 148 ang hindi available. Oo. 
Sabi ni Kratz, pwede ba siyang i-death penalty for rebellion? Hindi po death penalty ang rebellion. Available nga siya eh. So, hindi po siya capital punishment. Hindi siya reclusion perpetua. It's most likely uh, below 20 years. So, about 12 to 20 years ang kanyang ano. So, doon sa mga nagtatanong kung kailan mag-i-issue ang Branch 148 ng warrant, wala po tayong bolang kristal. So, it will really depend on the judge kung kailan po siya matapos maggawa ng kanyang order. Uh, Sabi ni Jerry Bercasio, bakit hindi siya pinosas? Because he was the one who went to the police station. Siya po ay, uh, effectively, this is a surrender. So, pumunta siya sa police station at doon ineffecting kanyang arrest. So, there was no need to take him forcibly because he did not pose any danger to the people around him or any risk of flight. So, ginagawa lang po yun. Uh, kapag yung pagpuposas po ay pagka may risk of flight at may risk of endangering the people around him. Uh, sabi ni Vladimir, is he covered by the subjudice rule now that he has been arrested and posted bail? Uh, most likely, yes, uh, he will be. Uh, however, tandaan ninyo, if uh, magawa siya ng speech, privileged speech, o kaya magsalita siya during a Senate investigation, in the course of his duties as a senator, wala po siyang liability for that. So, uh, abangan din po natin yung mga yan. Let's see. Uh, ano po daw ang iniintay? Sabi ni John, mata, ano po bang iniintay ng Branch 40, 148? Bago mag-issue ng warrant of arrest, wala po silang iniintay. Nagpadala na po, nagsagutan na yung dalawang parties. Uh, Nag-file ng motion yung DOJ. Sinagot ni Senator Tillianes, sumagot ang DOJ. At saka nakapag-rejoinder na po si Senator Tillianes. So, submitted na po siya for resolution. Ang iniintay po natin ay yung resolution nga, yung findings ng ating hukuman dun sa Branch 148, dun sa decision ng, ng judge kung maaari mag-issue ng warrant of arrest. Uh, sabi ni Progi, gusto po ipatupad ang death penalty. Well, dun sa rebellion, hindi po nga kasi death penalty. And reclusion perpetua po ang hatol dun sa branch 148 if ever he's found guilty of coup d'etat. Ngayon, ang medyo tricky dyan is yung death by musketry na penalty para dun sa charge ng mutiny sa court martial. Uh, hindi po ito na-affect kasi dun sa law that... Uh, repeal the death penalty law because iba po ang uh, ang articles of war hindi po na amendahan ito kahit po na amendahan na po ang death penalty law natin it is not likely however given yung panahon ngayon hindi kasi giyera ngayon eh so usually yung mga matataas na penalties ay nirereserba para dun sa mga sundalo na dumalabag sa articles of war during times of national conflict or war kasi delikado eh so yung yung imposition ng maximum penalties ay winiway yan in relation to the kind of risk that they have posed to the state. Ibig sabihin, kung talagang very dangerous yung, yung ginawa mo in relation to the security of the state, then you will get the maximum penalty. In this case, death by musketry, which I really seriously doubt will be imposed. Pero, merong ibang mga penalties kasi pwedeng i-graduate yun to years of hard labor, uh, magbabasag ka ng bato, <laughs> Believe it or not, it is still a penalty under the Articles of War or simply yung detention nga. Uh, he will be put in jail for a certain number of years. And if ang commensurate penalty ay death by musketry, then matagal-tagal po ang consider na period kung kailan ka ikukulong. Kasi mutiny po ito. Uh, sabi ni Junaida, Ano ang pangka, ano ano pang kaso ni Trillanes kailangan talaga mapatahimik siya. Actually hindi natin po siya inaaresto dahil gusto natin siyang tumahimik. Inaaresto po siya dahil meron siya pong ginawa mga kasalanan at a time na at, uh, prior to uh, meron siyang mga kasalanan, meron siyang mga krimen na ginawa. At it turns out na hindi siya nag-comply dun sa mga conditions ng kanyang amnesty kung kaya't na uh, kino-consider na either bali wala ito or na uh, hindi siya nabigyan at all ng amnesty. So, uh, ang pinagbabayaran niya dito ay yung mga paglalabag niya sa batas noon. Hindi siya kinukulong dahil pinatatahimik siya. And that's a very dangerous thing to say. Kasi yun ang magiging oppression na ibabato ngayon sa ating Pangulo. Sabi ni Michael, magiging limited ba ang kanya magagawa sa Senado? No. Uh, pero kung arestuhin siya, matutulad siya kay Senator Laila de Lima na limited yung, ano, yung movements niya. And although she's still a senator, she cannot go to the Senate. And she cannot conduct Senate investigations, etc. So, 
Uh, it's very dangerous to say payback, ha? Kasi hindi natin, hindi siya inaaresto dahil uh, pinatatahimik siya, ha? Hindi siya inaaresto dahil uh, gumaganti tayo dun sa mga sinasabi niya sa ating Pangulo but because nga meron siyang uh, mga nilabag na batas during that time, in 2003 and in 2007. Sabi ni Boy, at mas maganda nga yan na walang posas para madaling mga agaw ng baril. Kayo talaga, please don't think that's really mean. Uh, sabi ni Priscilla, pwede po bang firing squad ang maging hatol sa court martial? Actually, hindi firing squad. Death by musket wing nga daw. Eh. Uh, so, hindi natin alam kung paano i-execute yan. But I really doubt it. Sabi ni uh, Edelita, after bail, babalik sa Sunado si Pogi. Opo, baka kabalik. Pwede siyang bumalik if he chooses to go back to the Senate. So, yeah. Uh. Sabi ni Marvin Alcantara, gano'n po katu na may military tribunal na may involve? Oo, oh, totoo yun. Kasi meron ng Special General Court Martial Number 1. Sabi ni, uy, sabi ni George Laurentiana, he's watching from aboard Regal Princess in Bar Harbor. Saan yan? M-E. Uh, USA. Sabi ni Alma, always take care kasi follower daw siya. Ito ah, uh, why does GMA Network have no comment to prove Branch 150 of the amnesty? Actually, wala kasi sa lugar mag-comment ang, ang, ang media because they're just supposed to be reporting what happens. Uh, sabi ni Marvin, gano po katotoo? Ay, yun. Danilo Velas says, capital offense, punishable by reclusion perpetua and evidence of guilty strong. So, dapat wala pong bail, di ba? Doon po sa, ano, of course, you can only talk about bail when you're talking about the regional trial court. So, hindi po kasi bailable nga ang, ano, ang kudeta. So, uh, yun yung presumption na hindi siya bailable. Ngayon, kung gusto niya pong mag-bail, kailangan patunayan niya na the evidence of guilt is not strong. Pero, of course, kung mag-issue ng warrant ang Branch 148, then by it will follow that the AFP will also issue an order for his detention. So, magiging moot yung issue ng bail. Uh, hindi rin siya makakapag-apply ng bail sa Branch 148, even if uh, evidence of guilt is not strong. Kasi hindi rin bailable, hindi rin siya palalabasin ng AFP. Uh, Sabi ni Tani Encarnacion, what if Branch 148 does not issue a warrant, what will happen? Then ililitis lang siya sa Branch 150. And in all likelihood, the DOJ will go to the Supreme Court or participate in the Supreme Court doon ngayon sa issue on whether or not proclamation uh, that was issued by President Duterte revoking the amnesty of Senator Trillanes is considered uh, constitutional. So doon po yung turn yung... Ano, yung issue ng, ano, ng whether or not uh, tama ang Regional Trial Court Branch 148 later on. Oh my gosh, my face is oily. Mm. Ano to? Uh, sabi ni Jean Bolado, di ba SOP? On arrest is mugshot, booking, then pasok sa selda at bago piyansa. Bakit may skip? na pasok sa selda. Hindi po, hindi po kailan necessarily kailangan ni pasok sa selda. Uh, basta na-detain ka and it that doesn't necessarily mean you're behind bars. Ang importante po dito kasi is makapag-issue ng certificate of detention ang PNP dahil isasama mo yon dun sa ano sa do documents na isasubmit dun sa branch ng sa Makati Regional Trial Court to show that you are ano allowed that you uh, have complied with all the requisites of bail. So, may mga kailangan yan para sa bail, especially kung bail bond. Pero even if you present a cash bail, then kailangan mo, at the very least, your certificate of detention. Mm. Sabi ni Henry Betuig, may, may nangung ulit na aso sa akin. Sabi ni Henry Betuig, dapat nakahalata si Tilianes, nilalaro na lang siya Sayang lang piyansa niya. Una, pag nagpalabas ng warrant, pero may... Ay, si ay, si ay. Okay. Una, nagpalabas ng warrant, pero may bail. Naglabas ng pera para mag-bail. Kaso may kudeta pa, lumalabas ang warrant. Di, pag lumabas ang warrant nun, hindi napapasok 
Ah, uh, tama. Tama ka doon. Pag lumabas naman ang warrant ng branch 148, eh hindi na available po yun. So, tama kayo. nag siya, pero his provisional liberty is only for so long as hindi pa nag issue ng warrant ang branch 148. And remember, yung court martial po ay nakasandal doon sa kaso sa branch 48 and branch 48 alone. Uh, hindi siya po na court martial doon sa Manila Pen incident. Posible ba, sabi ni Romeo, na magkaiba ang maging decision ng judge sa branch 148 and branch 150? Oh, it's possible. Magkaibang court yun. Eh. Magkaibang ano. Although, they're decide, making a decision based on the same documents. Sabi ni Jess, dapat sa Friday evening yung arrest para Sunday, Saturday, Sunday sa jail siya at Monday na siya makapag-bail. Actually, bawal po yun. Bawal po yung arrest to with a warrant kapag weekend at saka it is not possible to file bail. May ganun talaga. Bawal po yan. Okay. Sabi ni Arturo Layug, in six to seven months, his term as senator will be over. We'll have no more power. Well, yeah. Sabi ni Jayum, bakit po ang bilis ng proseso ng pag-bail ni Filianes kapag ordinaryong tao, hindi po ganun kabilis? Uh, it depends kasi. Unang-una, kaya mabilis para sa kanya, cash ang binabayad niya. So, yung iba sa atin kasi, pagka-property bond, naku ang daming documents na kailangan. So, sometimes it takes to, up to even a week. Kasi maghahanap ka pa ng titulo, maghahanap ka pa ng, na, na, o kaya ng guarantor, uh, o kaya yun, magsasubmit ka ng things like your address, sketches, etc. Ang dami-daming requirements. Pero kung cash bond, usually certificate of detention lang ang requirement na kailangan. At saka yung warrant. Sabi ni Nuboy, uh, salute you for giving concise and straightforward answers. I thank you po. Sabi ni Rose, if uh, Trillanes has issued the warrant of arrest, will he be under court martial? Hindi po. There are three cases. Uh, the first case is the uh, coup d'etat case for the Manila, uh, for the Oakwood incident filed in Branch 148. And then the second case is Special General Court Martial Number 1, where he has four charges, mutiny, conduct, and becoming an officer and a gentleman, disrespect to the president and disrespect to the legitimate orders of the president. Uh, so, and then there's the third case, the Manila Peninsula Rebellion case, which is filed in Branch 150, which now issued the warrant of arrest for him. So, the court martial po is only hinged on the re, on the on whether or not Branch 148 is going to issue a warrant. Uh, Sabi ni Leilani, why po rebellion lang? Paano na po yung case ng treason in Kudeta? Wala po siyang case ng treason. Uh, tatandaan po ninyo, dun sa mga followers kasi dun sa page, I always repeat this, there is no treason kung wala pong gyera. It's a wartime crime. So wala pong case siya ng treason. Uh, sabi ni Robert, at last na tiyempoan niya yung live go. <laughs> As a Saudi siya. Okay, yung mga ibang mga tanong ninyo, paulit-ulit na. So, this is what I'll do. Mag-recap tayo. Okay. Senator Chilianes has three, three pending, has three, jurisdic three jurisdictions. Ang, ah, three courts ang may jurisdiction kay Senator Chilianes. I apologize. Grabe. Okay. Branch 148 of the Regional Trial Court of Makati where he, where he is charged with coup d'etat. Non-bailable offense. Uh, charge number two is the four charges filed before the Special General Court Martial number one, and then uh, Branch 150 for the rebellion case. Uh, the rebellion case was where the warrant of arrest was issued today under Branch 150, for which he is either filing for bail or has filed for bail uh, today. So he will be released as soon as the bail is accepted by the court. Uh, bakit po siya hindi pa ina-arrest ng court martial because he, the special general court martial number one pertains only to the Oakwood incident. So uh, they will wait for, in, in accordance with what the AFP announced or manifested, nag-manifest po kasi ang AFP na hindi sila mag-issue uh, mag ng order to detain Senator Trillanes until a warrant of arrest has been issued. Ngayon, yung warrant of arrest doon sa branch number 150 is irrelevant to Senator Trillanes kasi he's not undergoing court martial for the Manila Peninsula case. He's only undergoing court martial for the Oakwood mutiny, which is being uh, which the civilian counterpart, the, the, the case under the revised penal code is being uh, litigated in Branch 148. Okay? Okay, na, na recap na natin, na wag na natin ulitin yung ibang mga tanong. Okay, sabi ni June Anat, Bakit tuwing natatalo ang kabilang parlor, laging na sinisigaw nila ay patay ng demokrasya? 
it's it's ah uh, it's propaganda. Wag wag na kayong magalit. Alam naman natin na they were going to spin this in a way that will benefit their cause. So, ta- i-expect na natin na may sasabihin talaga silang ano uh, kakaiba or hindi kapareho natin. Uh, what about dun sa kaso na sinam- ah, ni Sampa- sinampa ni Paolo Duterte kay Tilianes? Another case po yun, yes. But that's also available case. That's libel. Uh, so, uh, Ongoing pa yun. Right now, nasa pre- tinatawag natin na preliminary investigation stage. Yung stage na po yun ay dinedetermine kung may probable cause. Ang probable cause po yun ay dinedetermine ng prosecutor at tinitignan niya if a crime has probably been committed or and if the accused or the, the respondent probably was the one who committed it. Kung meron ganon, masasampan na yun sa court at doon i-arrange na siya. Or mag issue ng warrant of arrest yung court, papapuntahin siya, i-arrange siya or he can file for bail before that. Uh, sabi ni Mario Pablo, sanang turning point ng kwentong ito, bigyan ng amnesty si Trillanes ng ating Pangulo after all of your enemy. Uh, totoo yan because only the presi- President Duterte now can give him amnesty. Sabi ni Armin, bakit lagi namamatay ang demokrasya? Kayo talaga. Uh, Sabi ni Santiago, ano po ba magiging impekto sa dilawan kapag nakulong siya ng tuluyan? I really don't know, but they are going to, certainly going to try to spin this. Okay, wala na bang ibang mga bagong tanong? Kasi didiscuss din po natin ito bukas sa karambola and most probably with better input from my co-hosts. Uh, sabi ni Konkon, pwede ba siya kasuhan natin lahat? Oh, sure, if he commits a crime. If Tillianis, sabi ni Els Marie Villanueva, if Tillianis kept his mouth shut, the president would have ignored this case. Well, I don't like to think that, you know why? Because it puts the blame on the president. It makes it look like the president was machinating to put him back in jail. Rather than, ano, rather than Senator Trillianis, well, in a way, tama ka rin pala. Senator Trillanes called attention to himself, tuloy nakalkal yung kanyang amnesty, is another version. Pero siyempre kasi, ang gagawin ng kabilang parlor is sasabihin na, ayan, si, ano, si President Duterte is trying to oppress the opposition because we speak out against him. As if naman piko ng Pangulo natin. Uh, sabi ni Jennifer, I hope TP's President Tomorrow at Karambola, I believe that he's going to be. Sabi ni Bong, bakit si Lenny nag-press con pabor kay Trillanes? Lumipat na ba sa LP si Trillanes? Di ba sabi niya, Democrats? Kayo talaga kung ano-ano pinagsasabi niyo sa akin. Sabi ni Rodel, bakit ang mga government official pag may kaso nakakabalik pa sila sa work nila? Di ba pwedeng, oh, may batas pa tayo na di sila pwedeng bumalik? Till they finished all their cases? Well, it depends kasi kung anong klaseng official ka. Kung ikaw ay uh, member of the legislature at ang ano ang uh, isinampang kaso sa iyo punishable by six years or less then hindi ka kasi iaaresto at the time when go, when uh, the senate or the house is in session so mukha lang talaga mabalik sila unless uh, tapos if it is bailable all they have to do is bail and go back to work kasi in the case of the legislature matatanggal lang kayo for an ethics case and uh, only by a jury of your peers oh my gosh my face is really oily Okay. So, yun. Eh, ang nakikita natin, there's certain legislators talaga na hindi, eh, hindi talaga sila na natatanggal sa pwesto by virtue of a crime that they could have committed. Uh, during the time na nililiti sila naman kasi yung kaso, uh, hindi pa guilty. However, in the other aspect, in the civil service, kasi pagka may finding of probable cause, that is usually sufficient for the fi- filing of an administrative case and that is usually sufficient evidence for dismissal of a public officer. So, ganun po yun. Kapag yung ka- crime ninyo, ay pagka merong probable cause kahit nililitis pa kayo there is a possibility to be removed from the civil service kung filean kayo ng administrative case pursuant to the same charge pero ang exception dyan ng ating mga senador at ating mga congressman at matagal ko na po itong sinasabi they have this benefit na natatanggal lang po sila sa legislatura kapag through an ethics case that orders their removal from their their uh, ejectment, so to speak, or the removal from the legislature by virtue of un, uh, what we call um, ano ba yan? unruly behavior or undisciplined behavior. 
So yun lang po yun. That's why it looks like some officials aren't uh, being removed from the you know, from the service because they're undergoing trial for a criminal case. Pwede bang i-request sa binivin ng Tilianis Camp picture likod ni Pulong at uh, court hearing na si Pulong naman nagsampa. Nagsampa nga po siya ng libel, di ba? Sabi ni Ionizer, dapat kapag kriminal, hindi ka ihalal ng tao because machine yung bumoto kay Trillianes. Well, uh, we don't know that. So, okay. Sabi ni Ami, Ms. Calyado, uh, sabi ni po, yung amnesty daw ni Trillianes approved by Congress and the Senate. Well, yeah, because that's a requirement of the Constitution. Kapag nag-grant ng uh, amnesty ang Pangulo, it requires the concurrence of the Senate and the House. So yeah, it had the approval, but that doesn't uh, affect the, 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 the revocation that was issued by President Duterte because the revocation is not exactly a revocation. It's a belated recognition that Senator Tilianes did not comply with the conditions of his amnesty and therefore technically he was not even granted yet. Yun po yun. So, yung concurrence ng Senate at saka yung House, irrelevant yan. Kasi what happened here is his failure to comply with the obligations, with his obligation, with the conditions of the amnesty. So, ang kinukonkur lang naman kasi ng Senado at ng House, yung declaration ni President Aquino. Uh, okay, sabi ni, ni, ano ba to? Death. Di, di bawal sa batas kung iprint sa t-shirt yung mugshot ni Tilianes. Ang ganda kasi. I don't think so. I don't think it's libelous. Uh, yung bail po sa branch 150 is temporary release lang or dismiss na talaga yung case. Temporary release. Okay, we have to define bail for some people. Ang bail po, ito ay binibigay garantiya para sa temporary liberty mo na babalik at babalik ka sa hearing mo at itutuloy yung kaso, hindi ka tatakas. Nag-file ka, parang guarantee mo yon O ito, bibigyan ko kayo ng pera para ma-assure kayo na hindi ako tatakbo dahil mga may pera ako sa inyo or may property ako sa inyo to guarantee that he will not, uh, he will not uh, skip out. Of course, people skip out anyway. But uh, yun po yung, ano nun, it's like a guarantee. So, ang bail po is a matter of right. Ang exception po niyan ay dun sa capital punishment or sa crimes that are punishable by capital punishment. So, reclusion perpetual to death, even if wala ng death penalty. So, it's only for temporary liberty. Kapag nahatulan ka ng guilt, then you will go to jail. You can also file uh, what we call bail pending appeal kapag inapila mo yung kaso. And uh, po possibly mag-grant din po yun. Once you're convicted, pasok ka na po kayo sa, sa kulungan. Ah... Uh, yeah, sabi ni Jason, sabi niya, I saw a comment, walang court martial pertaining to Manila Pen. Ako po yung nagawa nun. Uh, walang court martial pertaining to Manila Pen, senador na siya noon. His only court martial is for Opud, so the only warrant that counts it's for the AFP is the one issued by Branch 148. Yung comment po na nakita mo na yun, akin yun. Uh, si, uh, sabi ni Renz, bakit bumalik sa Senate Hotel? Kasi nakapagpiansa na po siya and he's free to go uh, anywhere. Except out of the country kasi may whole departure order siya. And that's the one thing that hasn't been really discussed. Tandaan po, nag-issue ng warrant of arrest ang court, pero meron din siyang whole departure order. Uh, Doon sa mga nagsasabing walang bail ng rebellion, meron po. Uh, Pai, she's asking for probabilities. Hindi po kasi ako nagsusugal, so hindi ako pwedeng magbigay ng possibilities. It will really depend on the evidence that is going to be presented. Sabi ni Tin, kung ganun, uh, still pa rin yung makapag-press ka na makapagpanira si Trillianes sa Pangulo. Yeah, um, don't act surprised kasi hindi naman yung purpose dito ay patahimikin si Senator Trillianes. You're playing into the yellow game, uh, sorry, dun sa laro ng mga political opponents ng Pangulo. Ang sinasabi nila, kaya po ginagawa kay Senator Trillianes ito ay para tahi patahimikin siya. So wag rin po natin sasabihin yan because it is not true. The reason we're doing this is because he has not complied with the conditions of his amnesty. Oh, ta tapos may mga labag siya sa, ginawa na labag sa batas. So, he is going to go to trial again. Hindi natin sinasabi na makukulong siya for, for, for uh, in, in the case of the coup d'etat, uh, reclusion perpetua. 
But what we're saying is he's going to go to trial because he did not comply with the conditions of his amnesty. The president is not doing this to make him shut up. What happened was he called the attention of everybody. Nakalkal tulo yung amnesty niya. But are they doing this to shut him up? I don't think there's any way we can shut him up. Look at Laila de Lima. From jail, she's still writing letters. So please don't fall into the trap of saying that because it's as though we're admitting that we're trying to suppress Senator Trillanes' freedom to do whatever, to dissent. And everybody is allowed to dissent. Yun lang nga, not everybody who dissents is as irritating as he is to many people. Uh, sabi ni Essie, okay lang ba na mag-celebrate na kami o masyado po ba? <laughs> Intayin natin yung warrant ng 148 because that makes the difference. Branch warrant, the crime in Branch 148 is non-bailable plus magkikik in ng court martial once the warrant of arrest is issued by 148. So, ayun yun. Uh, sabi ni Chan, I'm so happy today na kanood ako ng live. <laughs> Nasa Turkey siya. Sabi ni Irish, he's just facing the consequences of his criminal actions before. Yes. Ano yung sinasabi natin? People in glass houses should not throw stones. Kung may vulnerabilities ka, you be careful when you attack somebody else. Bakit po simpleng tao inaabot ng isang linggo na kulong bago makalabas kahit may pang piyansa? Sinagot natin to kanina, it depends on the kind of bail that is being issued, uh, that you're, you're paying. So if it is cash, mabilis lang po yun. All you need is your certificate of detention and an order from the court. Uh, Pagka uh, property bond, matagal po talaga. Ganun po yun. Minsan, nagtatagal ang pulis sa pag-issue ng kanilang detention certificate. So, sometimes it takes that long also. Um, I am also a little concerned kasi si Chief Eleazar mismo, uh, NCRPO, ang nag uh, sinamahan niya si Senator Chilianes uh, while he was in detention at hindi nga po siya ikinulong. Uh, I noticed that, uh, that uh, NCRPO Chief uh, Eleazar was very, very hard on Lou Olivar. Hindi naman siya sumusuko, hindi naman siya ikukulong or anything like that. But he was very, very rough on him. Uh, not rough physically, but rough na pinagsasabihan niya. And now here, a Senator of the Republic, at sinasamahan pa niya. I assume that it is in keeping with the stature of his position kasi nga, nasa jurisdiction niya yung nag-aaresto o nag detain kay Senator Trillanes. Gayun pa man, hindi po maganda tignan na napaka-harsh ninyo kay Drew Olivar, who is an ordinary person, and uh, parang medyo masyadong magaan naman kayo kay Senator Trillanes. Gayun pa man, we're not saying that the PNP has committed uh, has been preferential with Senator Trillanes. I think that they are simply giving uh, a measure of respect. The best explanation is they're giving a measure of respect to a Senator of the Republic. Okay. Uh, ano pa? Mga umuulit na ibang mga tanong. So, ang init, ano? Uh, sabi ni Queenie, what if ma, wa, what will happen after nakabail siya at bumalik siya sa uh, Senate, pwede ba siya manatili doon? Is there an illegal liability on the part of the Senate President? Actually, with the issuance of the warrant of arrest, pwede na siyang kunin sa loob. Ayun din naman ang sinasabi ni Senate President Tito Soto is that he is on a, they were waiting for the issuance of a warrant of arrest. Kung kaya naka, lumabas na ng kusa si Senator Chilianes kasi alam niya pag dumating ang mga polis, isusuko siya ng Senate. Ngayon, mas significant dito pag nag-issue ng warrant of arrest ng Branch 148, will Senator Chilianes go quietly? Kasi hindi po available yan. Uh, sabi ni June, bakit nasabi ni Chilianes na pagdada... Anan din ni Tatay Digo ang nangyari sa kanya. Well, he's talking tough. Siyempre, galit siya. Yan, yun na muna siya. Uh, ang saya-saya. Uh, so, ulitin ko yung sagot ha. Bakit daw hindi siya pinusasan? Because Senator Chilianes did not pose any threat either of flight or danger to any person in the vicinity. Ginagawa po yung pagpuposas. Pag sa tingin natin tatakbo, okay, may danger po siya doon sa mga nakapaligid sa kanya or doon sa mga polis mismo. So... Uh, tama, itong sabi ni Angelus, tama ka po, yung kay Drew joke, yung kay Fugi, totoo. Oh, uh, considering the crime that the Senator Chilianes is being accused of are crimes against the state, uh, crimes against the, the, the security, the, the safety of the state and many people, uh, th I would have thought that they would, uh, kumbaga, I thought they would be nicer to Drew. <laughs> 
My bad. Mali talaga ako doon na inassume ko yan. Mali talaga. Sabi ni Katri, I heard from the radio na kaya daw pumababa ang hatol kay Trillianes, wala pa pong hatol. Dahil di daw siya leader ng Kuo Rebellion, speaker, uh, spokesman lang daw po siya at the time. Uh, don't mix up the two cases. No? Yung case niya doon sa Manila Pen uh, is different from the case in Oakwood. Doon sa Manila Pen, he clearly stated that he was one of the leaders. Doon sa Oakwood po, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he claimed that he was the spokesperson. So, those are two different cases. Ah, okay, mihina na yung ating signal. Let's take the uh, the last few questions. Ayos, ayusin nyo naman yung mga tanong. Una-una, wag na natin ulitin yung mga nauna. So, sabi ni Ligaya, ano mangyayari sa ibang kasama ng Trillianes sa Oakwood tulad ni Alejandro at ni Fildon? Right now, yung proclamation na inisyo ng ating Pangulo is only, names only one person, Senator Antonio Trillianes. So, ang ina-attack ngayon ni Senator Trillianes doon sa Korte Suprema ay legality ng, ng constitutionality ng proclamation na yun. Walang ibang in danger of going back to jail or having their amnesty revoked kasi isa lang ang nakapangalan doon sa proclamation, it's only Senator Trillianes and nobody else. So, paano maa-affect yung ibang tao? It's if Senator Trillanes says that if you can do that to me, then dapat yung amnesty ng lahat is revoked. And if he uses this as a matter of defense, and if the court says, okay, valid ito, but it will be valid only insofar as if, if it applies to everybody, and then everybody is screwed. Diba? So, in this case, there's no danger that the other... Um, persons who have applied for amnesty will be uh, included, will have their amnesty revoked because right now, the proclamation only pertains to Senator Trillanes and Senator Trey. Actually, lahat po tayo ay may layang magsalita provided yung pagsasalita natin ay hindi lumalabag ng mga batas. Halimbawa, libel, false publications, bomb jokes, ah, ganoon. Ah, nagtatanong, bakit 200,000 lang? Eh, yun lang po ang commensurate. 2,000 lang po. 200,000 po, hindi 2,000. Ah, Sabi ni Jill, anong mangyayari pag hindi siya humarap sa case ng Branch 148? Then a warrant will be... Oh. Okay, sorry, sorry. Medyo na, nabitin yung ano. So, we better wrap up kasi humihina na po yung signals natin. Ulitin po natin ang... Um, yung sa last question. Uh, paano po yung court martial? Wala naman po mangyayari dun sa ano. Wala naman pong danger na ma-dismiss yun sa court martial. Okay, maraming salamat po dun sa pagtangkilik dito sa mga Facebook Live ng Luminous by Trixie Cruz Angeles and Ahmed Paglinawan. Meron po tayong karambola bukas ng umaga, 8 to 10 a.m. sa DWIZ 882. Uh, meron kami live stream noon sa Facebook at saka sa YouTube. Look for DWIZ 882. Uh, meron din po kaming tambayan ni Mocha at Drew where Attorney Ahmed and I will be hosting the program habang nasa US po si Asek Mocha Uson at uh, na meron naka, ano lang po, naka-leave si Drew Olivar. So, we have uh, two programs tomorrow, 8 to 10 a.m. and 12 to 1. Kung meron kayong mga tanong na hindi namin nasagot on this Facebook Live, then we expect your questions tomorrow. Tadakayin po natin to ulit kung hindi pa kayo nagsasawa. Thank you very much and you, all guys, you guys all have a good night.